You can fly from here to Ireland and it only costs a pound. And then the same for back again, dear God, this pretty sound. I'll book for the whole family, there's ten of us in all. We'll all go back to see me ma and have a bloody ball. So I fired up my computer thing and went on that online, where I quickly found old Ryanair and still I'm feeling fine. Till I noticed that I would be charged to use my credit card. And at five pounds every passenger, dear God, that hit me hard. That's 50 quid just for paying them to use Steady their bloody plane. Thank God it's only just the once and not to come back again. So I carried on with clicking to book me flight back home. The first time since I left their foreign, foreign lands to roam. Well, the next thing that it asked me was if we'd be taking bags. Do they think we'll spend a whole week there all dressed in stinking rags? So I booked a bag for each of us to put down in the hold. When I saw the ten pounds each, each way, it made me blood run cold. And by now instead of twenty quid, it's three hundred and thirty pounds. The friggin' plane with us on board is not yet off the ground. But it is once in a lifetime, and soon ma might be gone. So I clenched my teeth, fired off a curse, and bravely carried on. Well then came priority boarding, where we can get on first. If we want to sit together, well, I suppose that that's a must. So there's another 60 quid when flowing down the drain. My credit card is getting hot. I must be quite insane. But that's the end of charges, so I go to book the flight. But when I see the numbers, I fall over with a fright. There's taxes and there's fees to add to everybody's seat. I'm numb with shock and failure as it spins beneath me feet. It's 50 quid each in taxes to get us there and back. Dear God, they know to hurt you when the economy is slack. And from 20 quid altogether, which I really thought was great, I can't believe what's on the screen. 828. <laughs> I told the rest that we'd be going, so now there's no way out. And perhaps it was rather foolish to tell him it's my shout before I knew the complete picture had the information in me hand. And instead of 20 bloody quid, it's near enough for grand. On the great day it arrived at last, we met up at Stansted, all excited at the prospect of the joys that lay ahead. We got inside the building to see where we check in. But all we heard was cursing and an awful bloody din. Turns out that there's no checking desk, it's all done DIY. On computer screens in the main hall. Oh, why, sweet Jesus, why? Are we paying all this money if there's nobody at work? If I was boss of this airline, I'd teach them not to shirk. Well, we finally worked out how it's done, put in our reservation code, and went up on screen. Dear God, how? So there's 200 quid that's owed. Well, I found a man in a blue coat. I beat him round the head. You should have read the small print first, was all the bastard said. <laughs> Turns out you pay for checking, no, you do it all yourself. No wonder that O'Leary is a man of such great wealth. But we had to bite the bullet, or we wouldn't get on board. So I coughed up 200 readies, went to the backdrop with the horde. The queue was only one hour long, it wasn't all that bad. And when we reached the front of it, we were all happy, quite glad. Till the girl asked for our passports and we proudly put them down. I'm sure I felt my wallet twitch when I saw the young girl frown. <laughs> I'm afraid we've got a problem, which my poor heart sank. When Ryanair has a problem, it's me gets hit in the bank. That's all booked in your name, she said. There's ten different people flying. You'll have to go and change the names. That's when I started crying. For by now I knew the crack with them. I knew that I'd be hurt. Why what did it cost to change the names? For the desk they weren't quite curt. One hundred pounds per person is what you'll have to pay. And please be quick, you can see the queue. We haven't got all day. <laughs> and for those of you who cannot count, I'll give you an update. On what twenty pounds can turn into if you don't contemplate the tiny little fine print that in those terms is hid. It turns into 1930 <laughs> bloody quid. <laughs> but by now my mind was reeling, my credit card was hot. My hands were all a tremble and my nerves completely shut. I went back to the baggage check and said, now can we go? And that frown appeared, and once again she dealt a mighty blow. <laughs> Every bag is overweight, I'm afraid you'll have to pay. So she wrote me out a little chit and sent me on my way. For a measly 30 kilos, it cost 450 notes. 
They called in the security when I had them by their throats. I called them robbing bastards and pirates of the air. I told them what they'd done to me, it wasn't bloody fair. But when I quietened down again, it wasn't so irate. They let me pay the money. Wasn't that just great? So guitar in hand, I wandered back towards the baggage drum. With everything now sorted, I was still in quite a strop. But the queue was now much shorter, and so I quietened down and was looking forward to me flight. And once again, there she frowned. <laughs> she looked at my guitar case. She said, I'm sorry, sir. You have to pay for things like that if you're flying Ryanair. She wrote me out another chit, and off again I went to pay another 40 quid. And money now all spent. Well, we had great times in Ireland. I held my mother's hand. Of course I didn't tell her it cost two and a half grand. I couldn't go down to the pub. I had no money for a round. At least I'd flown to Ireland. And it only costs a pound. <laughs> 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 <laughs>